Welcome back to a sleepy episode of the free to <clears throat> wake up. Come on. Welcome back to a sleepy episode of the free to play. I managed to get myself psyched up for the intro, but expect a crash coming in approximately five minutes. Anyway, what's more important is I looked in the shop and I realized that, hey, this season, there's an epic book of what the f Book of Epics, there we go. Now, in the deck that I was gonna play, there are no epics, right? I wanted to play Hog Rider, and in most Hog Rider decks, they don't there doesn't tend to be an epic card. What I then realized is I'm awfully close. Firstly, I'm about to get this uh, emoji. Em what the f am I saying? I'm about to get this emote, which would be sick, but I'm only a couple wins away from Frozen Peak, where you get that thing, the freeze spell. Hog freeze, ever heard of it? Well, if you don't know, then get to know, because hog freeze is gonna be the goal, because then I have the epic book, and then I can upgrade the freeze, and then we can win big bucks. Now you might be like, oh, well, I don't want to wait till you push up there just to watch you play one game of Hog Freeze. Don't worry, I have something cool coming. So, in case you weren't aware, of course, this free-to-play account is quite low level. All my cards are pretty low level. I just started it, right? And my Hog Rider is pretty low level. So I thought, how about I make the epic switch? They gave us a free Royal Giant with a bunch of, like, levels as well. And I thought it would be cool for me to just basically put in the, le uh, the an overleveled Royal Giant instead of my wizard, uh, oh my god, instead of my hog rider in the deck. And basically that was just going to allow us to win everything. Now though, I am kind of struggling because I don't really have anything for that. We're going to take some damage, but it's okay. Yeah, when you play against overleveled cards, you definitely do not want to do that. Because even though these guys kind of suck at the game, they can still beat you. Never underestimate overleveled cards. Anyway, I am very sleepy, and um, I don't know about you guys, but I love the sleepy vibe. Like, I literally feel high right now. Not that I would know what that would feel like, by the way. But, uh, yeah, I just feel like I'm floating on a cloud. Like, just absolutely amazing. The only thing is, usually, I don't then feel this way, and then I have to record a video. But obviously, I was super busy today. And, uh, yeah, you, I don't, can you even see that? Behind me... Oh my god, dude. Uh, behind me there is luggage. Because I am traveling very soon. Alright, so, little sneak peek. I hate playing this cannon here because he's gonna have the battle ram. But we're just gonna have to save up some good elixir to make sure we can stop that battle ram. Maybe a fireball. A cheeky fireball might work on the battle ram. Fire spirit is gonna help us with that. But yeah, I just love this feeling. Like, my muscles are super tired. I don't know how to describe it. It's like they're, like, hollow and unprepared for any activity. Uh, I'm literally like the most robbable person right now. If someone broke into my house, I'd just be like, fuck it, bro. Just take whatever you want. I just want to go to bed. All right, what's the, let's wizard the back here. He decides to not go with his battle ram, which means we're back. How do you have Evo wizard? Oh, it's because he bought the pass. Bro, we're literally in like arena, whatever the fuck this is. How? I, I, okay. Man, this guy is going ham with his freaking uh, flying machines at the bridge, and it's actually working out for him. This is what happens when you don't play a meta deck. When you try and play Clash Royale your own way, you end up getting fucked. Wizard gets two shots on the tower. Okay, overleveled Royal Giant is going to have to come and help us here. Arrows are going to be ready for when he decides to play a skeleton army. I should have just predicted there. But we might... No, no, no. We're not going to win from that. But we're pretty close. Wait for that baby dragon to lock onto the cannon. You see, even down here, we're going to make pro plays, all right? Uh, let's just let this wizard break its shield thingy majig, and then we'll play the fire spirit on that. We'll take some damage, but I don't really care. It's not going to be more damage than the other tower, surely. And then Royal Giant is just going to take his tower. This is what happens when you play overleveled cards. You just win games nice and easily. I love this, but this is not going to last. I hate playing the Royal Giant. Hog Rider is way more fun. We get a giant chest. That's probably the first one of this series. Wow! Not only that, we also get a lucky drop, so let's open this. We're gonna open it nice and slow. Alright? Nice and slow, because that's what you guys want, apparently. Everyone gets so angry at me. I'm just a little sleepy person who just wants to speed through their fucking lucky drops, but okay. Damn. Slow. Oh my god, no fucking way. If this is my first legendary, I'm gonna shit myself. No fucking way, dude! What the fuck? Okay. Nah, there's no way. I'm gonna get some shit as well, because I'm so low down. Oh my god. That's not bad at all. Dude, what the fuck? Uh, oh my, okay. So it seems like you guys were right. That is crazy. And we get the emote. So now we have the ability to BM even more. Let's put this in. We got some really annoying uh, emotes in our deck. I think I'm gonna take it instead of that. 
and we're ready to roll. Damn, dude, that is fucking crazy. I'm gonna have to change the thumbnail of the video and shit. What if I'm just using this sleepy thing as a cover up for literally just being actually high on video? The only bad part about this feeling is I swear I'll be like passing out in my chair and then I'll go brush my teeth and like the whole time I'm brushing my teeth I'm like fucking feeling like I'm levitating. And then um, I'll crawl into bed and suddenly my brain goes boing and then I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck that sound was. My brain just goes crazy and decides, you know what, you're not sleepy anymore, you're gonna be awake for the next two hours. Like, actually last night, literally last night by the way, I went to bed and then I, I had something playing on my laptop whilst I was going to bed. I mean, it wasn't intentional, but I was like falling asleep, right? And uh, as I'm falling asleep, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so tired. And I decide to be, for once, a responsible person. Wizard here is gonna get so much value, I fucking love that. That is so nice, just lovely to see. Uh, he gets quite a lot of damage though. I don't like that. Uh, and now we've got a scary push of a musketeer and a wizard coming at him. Yeah, as I'm falling asleep, there's this thing playing on my laptop and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be responsible. So I like go over, close the lid of my laptop and I just like push my laptop to the side. I don't even like take it off the bed or anything. I'm like that tired, right? But I decided to just do a little bit extra and just make sure that, you know, I don't knock over my laptop in my sleep or something. As soon as I do that, I've already passed out by the way. As soon as I do that, my mind's like, nope, you're staying awake. I was awake for two hours after that, uh, literally, not even joking. And maybe that's why I'm so sleepy today. I, honestly, that does not seem like an unreasonable thing to be thinking because uh, that kind of makes sense, right? Bad sleep one night, sleepy the next day. Anyway, I do think this is how your body is supposed to operate though. When it's nighttime, you should be freaking tired. Like, actually, like, passing out tired. That is the best way, and that is the most fun way, because you feel like you're on drugs. Royal Giant, overleveled, of course, is gonna come here and just ruin him right in the butt. Yeah, there's just nothing you can do. Like, Valkyrie, what is that gonna do? Absolutely nothing, bro. Uh, Fireball is gonna kill that wizard. Ooh, we almost hit the witch. That would have been juicy if we did. I'm gonna just play a wizard in the back. Yeah, he's really giving me a lot of arrow value, so we'll take it. Yeah, like, I'll be going to bed and my brain will literally be like, think about something that is gonna raise your heart rate right now. And I'm like, dude, I just wanna fucking go to bed. Just let me sleep, please. And it's like, oh, you know that sound that is literally not there in the kitchen? Yeah, that's an intruder. Go check. Right? And then I won't check and I'll get fucking paranoid and then I'm like, oh, fine, I'll go check, I guess. And by that point, it's too late. My heart rate's through the fucking ceiling. My brain will literally be like, hey, remember that one guy that you confronted and it like made you feel anxious as fuck? Yeah, yeah. Think about that. <laughs> Just to keep me awake. Uh, shit. What do I do here? All right, we'll play a wizard here. Uh, that should actually be not too bad. He's kind of under level. He's got level five towers. That means my royal giant is gonna have a hell of a time shooting that shit. We'll just let the wizard deal with whatever it wants to do here. Don't know if that's going to be any good. Actually, it gets onto the witch, so that's not bad. Does it kill it? It does, wow. Wizard OP? Huh? Wizard OP? Alright, Royal Giant is coming down to just ruin his life. Uh, I don't want anyone down here to have any fun. Alright, Aurora, let's not play the skeleton army there, because uh, my Royal Giant is not evolved quite yet. Uh, <laughs> defensive Goblin Barrel from him. Fire Spirit's gonna take good care of that, and then we'll just leave that. I really want to play the Skeletons to avoid damage, but you gotta think about these things. If he played a Prince, I would have been dead because I have nothing to tank for a Prince. And yeah, if it's if my brain's tactics to keep me awake don't work, then I'll literally just fall asleep, right? And then my brain will decide, hey, you know what, in your dream, let's make you fucking like fall over. And then you just wake up fucking in a sweat, dying with my heart rate through the roof um literally a heart rate of like 220 and yeah just allows me to have no fun whatsoever arrows is gonna get so much value there that is nice dude i'm just reveling in the satisfying moments of clash royale right now top 10 most satisfying moments in clash royale yeah literally my brain will be like hey bro you were looking way too comfortable in your sleep let me just fuck that up for you all right i know you had nothing important on the next day actually let's not do that please let's not be super aggressive uh, I know you had absolutely nothing that was important on uh, tomorrow. Did I say yesterday before? It's not like you have an exam or anything. We're just gonna ignore that uh, goblin barrel just because I feel like having some fun. Let's royal giant the pocket and just see what happens, alright? Shoot the shit with this guy. Um, 
yeah, I can't really do much about that. All right, and we win another game. If you have this royal giant thing, use it. If you don't have it, then be patient. It'll come. Um, just like me in your mother. <laughs> Sleepy Saxon is a devious Saxon. <laughs> All right, let's get that straight. Uh, let's see if we can take his tower. I highly doubt it, but maybe with the power of the two gunners, we can get... Nope. Pretty close though. I still can't believe that we just got that, by the way. We are one win away. We get some epic cards as well, just to support us even more in our freeze endeavors. Yeah, we'll play one more game, get up there, get the freeze. I probably won't play the hog freeze. Save that for another video because this video is interesting enough. You got the fucking legendary lucky drop, all right? I got one more thing to talk about because as I was talking about sleep, I just remembered something. That building across from me, don't know why this happens, but it's like, Every other night, they'll turn on the lights in that building. And it's like, it's the weirdest thing ever. Because the whole day, during the day, the lights are completely off, right? Never once are the lights on during the day. And then suddenly, it gets to nighttime. And it's not just any nighttime. It has to be spis- Wait, let's just- Wow, this guy's got the overleveled RG. Cannon stays alive, though. That's going to be nice and helpful for us. Skeletons are going to get a bunch of damage. Uh, we might take like two shots here, but that was way better than you could have ever hoped for. One shot. Crazy! Right, I really don't have the energy to fucking act like that. I don't know where I'm pulling that from, and uh, I'm starting to sweat. Anyway, yeah, the building across from me, lights are never on during the day. Suddenly, at like 2 a.m. every other night, they'll just blast the lights on. And I love sleeping with the blinds open, just because I like waking up super early. And it's just nicer to wake up to like sunlight or just light. Then to wake up in a dark room and have to like drag yourself out and open the bu it's like first world problems, I get it, All right? but, um, okay. Mini P.E.K.K.A. and Prince have, are very difficult, oh my god, Dark Prince especially. I need some tanks in this deck, apart from just the RG. Uh, Wizard Musketeer is not the world's strongest uh, combination, but at least we distracted pretty well there, Wizard stays alive. And yeah, I like sleeping with the blinds open because I like waking up to light. This house next to me just decides to fuck that all up for me and decides to turn on its light every night and I never see anyone in it. So the lights must just be on like a cycle or something like every other day. But like if, okay, if there is someone in it and they just never walk past the window, what job do you work where you're never in the house during the day, but then you're in the house at night, but not to sleep, to stay awake, right? It's, I don't think it's like an office building or something next to me. That's going to be it. He has 11... 11. Level 11 wizard. That is crazy, my dude. Um, I thought the level 9 royal giant was pretty crazy. Level 11 wizard's even crazier. Now that he's used his mini P.E.K.K.A. though, and his guards, that's gonna be a juicy opportunity. And his dark prince! This guy is going ham. Uh, we're gonna- oh my god, he's getting so much damage. Wait, kill those shits. Um, we need to win this game just because it's the last game. I, I don't want to play another one. That's a juicy fireball. Uh, we're gonna basically take his tower. I'm gonna arrows that just to get rid of that wizard. Oh my god, I thought I was, wasn't gonna die for a second there. Mini P.E.K.K.A. almost takes out my musketeer. I time it perfectly, because like I said, I'm a pro player. Uh, just kidding, I'm really not. For anyone that doesn't know who I am, I am absolutely not that. My commentary is not usually like this. I'm just tired, alright? Cut me some slack. We're gonna fireball here. We're gonna catch something else, I'm sure. Yep. He decides to just give me the value of a lifetime. Um, much better value than when I got a hand job under that bridge for $12. And we have made it to Frozen Peak. You know what? You guys have been spoiled today. I'll play the Hog Freeze in the next video. Oh! The demo video is Hog Freeze as well. What a coincidence. Anyway, uh, whilst I'm not gonna play that, actually, it's too distracting. Click here if you want to see another video. Like, comment for the algorithm, subscribe. Comment stuff, like tips, that are gonna work just as well as the tips I got for that. Um, that was nice. That tip worked. I'm gonna go sleep. See you.